At the CNBC CEO Council Summit uh, in Washington, D.C., I spoke to 26 North founder Josh Harris. Nearly one year ago, he led the group that purchased the Washington Commanders in a record-setting six-plus billion dollar deal. I asked him about the difference between running a firm versus running a sports team. On business, you know, the, uh, the key is EBITDA, or stock price. In sports, it's about winning, winning games and delivering championships for the cities. That's your first job. And then your second job is to be, create memories and to lead by example and, and steward these franchises. I also asked him about that record deal and how he made it happen going up against Jeff Bezos in an auction for the asset. When the commanders were potentially for sale, it started 26 North and uh, I had moved on, uh, and uh, my friend Mark Iden, who was sitting in the, uh, in, in the audience there, said, come on, Josh, let's, um, let's look at the commanders. And I said, come on, I'm not going to price the commanders for Jeff Bezos. I've uh, done this before, and we're going to spend a lot of time and get outbid. And uh, that started a whole process of first Mark uh, nagging me, introducing me to Mitch Rails. Uh, we created this incredible group, and ultimately... Um, went through a super complicated process, which I can go into, but basically it was one of the harder deals I've ever had to accomplish. Of course, the big issue in the NFL now is whether it's going to consider letting private equity invest in sports teams. Given the size of Josh's deal, here's what he had to say about what may happen next in the NFL. Created a little bit of a wake-up call at the NFL that unless you're one of the wealthiest, not wealthiest 400, the wealthiest 50 Right. people that, you know, writing a $5 billion equity check is pretty hard for anyone and that uh, the uh, rules that exist in terms of putting together a group to buy an NFL team are restrictive. And so raising that amount of capital was unique and it had never been done before. And um, I think it may be leading to some rethink as to, you know, the consideration right. of, you know, letting private equity, as an example, or institutional right. investors into the NFL. And we talked about so much more, including what's happening uh, in the world of private equity, where, where we are in the economy. He says this is actually the time to invest. Uh, but um, fascinating conversation just about what it means to be a sports team owner. I think everybody wants to be a sports team owner one way or the other. Uh, mm -hmm. And he is a big one, not just in the commanders, but, of course, uh, he is also an owner of the 76ers and uh, has a stake in the Devils and so many others. Becky? Yeah, he's, he's got a good gig. That's a... Uh... That's a portfolio a lot of people would love to hold on to.